What's the most horrific act committed by someone you know personally? NSFW Worked with a guy who got done for manslaughter, he bashed someone's head in with a table in a pub, this was after he stabbed a guy in the chest with darts, this was over a darts game. He also served time for beating a policeman into a cola with the policeman's own truncheon after the policeman caught him breaking into a car. A friend I grew up with got a job in a care home for vulnerable children and teens, mostly kids with severe learning difficulties slash mental health issues slash brain damage etc. He was in his mid-twenties and was caught having sex in the care home with a 14-year-old girl. Not only was she 14, she also had learning difficulties so severe there was no way she would have been able to consent. He raped her. He got four years, served about three. He's out now but no one has seen him since, I assume he moved away to prevent getting his head kicked in. Nasty bastard. He was always a bit weird but no idea he was capable of something like that. Not as bad as some of these, but my mom abandoned my siblings with me, 22 at the time, because her boyfriend tried to make a pass on the 12 years old. She went as far as to blame my sibling for being seductive and seducing him into wanting them. At 12. Guy I considered a close personal friend hunted down his ex, shot her with a rifle and then turned the gun on himself. Neighbors reported hearing him say you knew this was going to happen. Someone I sorta knew from school hid behind his front door, waited for his mother to come home and hit her on the head with an axe when he was around 14. He probably instantly regretted it and called an ambulance. Luckily, she survived and suffered no permanent damage. I think he went to a mental facility after. A former co-worker murdered his friend when the friend agreed to work with the police to bring down my co-worker for stealing a shipment of human growth hormone. Apparently, it was a vicious murder. They burned the body, IIRC, but it's been a while. My co-worker ended up being on the run for many years and was eventually turned in after his story ran on America's Most Wanted, his fiancée saw it, and he confessed who he was to her. She waited until he was asleep and went to a pay phone to turn him in. I had an acquaintance who owned an iron working shop. Some employee of his thought he was fabulously wealthy because he was well off. The dirtball employee went to their house and tortured four of them to death to get their fabulous wealth, $40,000, unfortunately, the housekeeper was there as well and they tortured her too. The junkies ordered pizza and left their DNA to be found. Burned the house. Really very sad, this guy was known to hire guys who had criminal records and give them a second chance. His son was 10 years old. I only met him once as a kid, but my granddad's brother-in-law. He approached me and my mom in a cafe, I was 8, and tried starting normal conversational small talk. My mom panicked and asked him what the hell he was doing out of prison, he brushed her question off and he knelt down to talk to me, which made my mom pick me up, sling me over her shoulder, and run back to the car. I just remember being so scared by her sudden moves I quietly burst into tears in the car and we drove halfway home. Mom then stopped in a supermarket car park, got in the back, unbuckled me, and we cuddled in the back for what felt like days, most likely an hour tops, whilst we both cried. I had no clue what was happening but mom calmed me down and she kept saying you're safe. I love you over and over. I found out years later he slit my granddad's sister, his wife's, throat and brutally beat her to death. Hence my mom's fear. Burn a baby alive. The story, I knew someone at a music school. She then left, and one day she showed up at the school again because she was stopping music and wanted to sell her instrument. She told me she was living in an isolated community in the middle of the mountains and looked so happy and radiant that I felt jealous. A couple of months later I turned the TV on and there she was. The community was actually a sect commanded by a guy who claimed to be the reincarnation of Jesus. He had impregnated a woman from the sect and said the baby was the Antichrist and had to die. They burned the baby alive when he was only two days old. My father beat the shit out of my mother and myself when I was a toddler. I have an uneven skull because of it. Until I found out, I thought it was a birth defect. 
I didn't find this out from my mother until I was an adult when I had to take him to court because he had opened numerous credit cards with my social security number when I was a kid and had tanked my credit by the time I was 18. A guy I knew killed his father in front of his mother and younger brother trying to protect his mom from severe abuse. After he served his sentence, the family accepted him back and they've been living a normal life to this day. When I was a kid, I was in the hospital for some surgery. In the next bed over was a kid who was younger than me in a full body cast. Turns out his dad was drunk and ran over him with the car. But that's not the worst part. His dad, apparently a hopeless alcoholic, later committed suicide. But that's not the worst part. A few years ago, I decided to look for the kid on the internet and see how he was doing. Turns out, he killed his wife with a chainsaw. And then killed himself with a chainsaw. But that's not the worst part. Their 14-year-old son found them. That would fuck you up for life. I was forced to have oral and anal sex with a 25-year-old when I was 9 and in foster care. I lived with him for 8 years. We would have sex 2 to 3 times a week and I never told any social workers because I didn't want to be sent to a group home. Two guys I went to school with, one primary school and one high school, kidnapped a woman, raped her, disemboweled her, and cut her throat. She survived and testified. They are both in jail for life. You can read more, here. When we were in school, this boy from our year, we were 13 years old or so at the time, was with his two older brothers and kidnapped a man. The man was dating their sister and at that time, People were very protective if you dated someone's sister. They took him to a petrol station and covered him in petrol. They then took him to a forest and burnt him alive. All three brothers went to prison but since they were minors I don't think they got that many years. When I was 21 20 seconds I bump into the guy from my year in a takeaway. And he tells me he's working at the local supermarket. Few months later I end up working in that same supermarket. And he goes to me, anyone messes with you let me know. I'm thinking, nah, I don't want them dead in a forest. My mother tried to kill my father when I was a toddler by taping up the windows in our apartment. She turned on the gas at the stove, took me and left. She knew my dad would light a cigarette upon returning home. She was banking on it. Luckily my dad was able to smell the gas leaking under the door. Someone I was close friends with till college was raping his wife's daughters from her first marriage for years. He was also filming it and distributed the material and was teaching other pedos internet security and how to use the dark web. A laptop involved in a sting in the UK undid all his careful trail covering. The investigation revealed over a decade of traceable data of his activities building a CP criminal network. I don't like to think about it. One of my childhood friends was diagnosed as schizophrenic in his early 20s, went off his meds for a bit of time and had an episode, bludgeoned his mom to death, who was my parents' friend. They found him in a fetal position crying and not understanding what happened. He committed suicide a few years later while in jail. I lived down the road from Terry Joe Volner. He rode my bus every day and was also a violent horrible person. He murdered a five-year-old because he had feelings for the kid's mom and I guess she didn't feel the same. So he murdered one of her kids, took a picture of the child's body and sent it to the child's mom and told her he was going to kill her other kids that he was babysitting if she didn't come home right now. He got life. Then he beat his cellmate to death with his bare hands so brutally they considered the death penalty. He got life again. Edit, a word. One day while we were in school, an acquaintance's father killed their mother and then himself and set their house on fire. Their father was somewhat abusive, and their mother was thinking of leaving him. It completely changed the acquaintance, he was only 13, but had to basically grow up and mature overnight. He and his siblings had to move in with their grandmother with basically nothing but the clothes on their backs. He was able to get a driver's license at 13 because their grandma couldn't drive, so he could help. Somehow, against all odds, he and his siblings are all perfectly normal people. My mother attempted suicide in front of me. 
She called me downstairs to witness her take a bottle of pills and then told me it was my fault. I was nine. Mom survived, but I've never been able to let that go. She still believes she's fine and everyone else is the problem. I have compassion for her, but I can't have her in my life. I'm a 42-year-old mother and I can't fathom doing that. Edit, I'm blown away by all of the upvotes and responses. Each and every single one of you is an inspiration and I want all of the good in the world for each of you. My uncle turned out to be a pedophile, assaulting his foster children often. The only reason he was caught and charged is because cousin managed to film him in the act and turn it into the police. He got eight years in prison only, and my cousin committed suicide a couple of years later. May he rest in peace. I knew a guy in the Marines, he was already a shithead, but one day he suddenly got orders back to the US. He was just gone, turned out that the FBI had been monitoring him trying to groom little girls online and sending nudes. The FBI arrested him when his plane landed. Cousin caught by a police sting on a pedophile chat room, was organizing meeting a woman to abuse her children in front of her. Went to prison, not for long enough. Unfathomable that some people defend him as he didn't do anything yet. Guy I knew from Sioux Falls, South Dakota was convicted of many many counts of rape on a child. My kids had spent time w him, he was a family friend and I called him uncle. I had suspicions and cut off contact. Couple years later, he was arrested and convicted. He was only interested in boys, my son swears this dude didn't touch him. I hope he rots. A cousin had his two young children call their mom, they were divorced and it was his weekend with them, to say goodnight. He put them to bed and shot them dead before pulling the gun on himself. I didn't know him, but I do now. 30-year-old meth head went on an hour-long rampage in his car, driving along the wrong side of the highways of my town attempting to crash head-on with other road users. He was unsuccessful until he crashed head-on with my 17-year-old brother. The meth head was doing an estimated 140 km per hour and my brother was doing 110, the speed limit, he just got sentenced to 10 years in jail yesterday and my brother now has lifelong injuries from the crash weirdest part of it all is that all the media and news reports of the accident were either silenced or made to be removed and we don't know why. Murder, twice. Two separate incidents. One, killed a guy in a fight, not intentional. Goes in for 10, serves 8. 2. Gets out. Another guy we knew gives him a hard time about how many times he sucked dick. Shot him in the face later that evening. He's not getting out. When I lived in a remote part of Nigeria as a kid, we had our house robbed when we were asleep one night. We had guards and they caught the thief. They put lorry tires around him and set him on fire in the garden. The smell was disgusting. They didn't bother with police in that state, they gave their own punishment. That was 30 years ago, and it still disturbs me to this day. A guy I worked with was shacked up with a manager and drugged her drink one night so she'd pass out. He molested and tortured her very young son to death. Edit, just wanted to add that yes he is in prison. It happened in Asheville, Canton, NC about 11-12-ish years ago. Guy's name is Will. Edit 2, reading through all the comments when I woke up I wanted to let y'all know that I was working at PetSmart, as were the above mentioned. When the news broke the next morning we were all granted time off if we needed it and they also provided us with counseling if we chose.